I might have dinner with Yo-Yo Ma. I studied at Interlochen Arts Camp for a summer and he came in and did a master class series and spent a week um, at the camp working with the campers and performing and he just seemed like such an amazing person. I mean, he's clearly an amazing, amazing talent, um, but just sort of the humanity and the, just the interest he showed the students. Um, he, I was really fascinated by him that week. I think I'd probably have dinner with my um, family um, in Italy. So much of my life has been formed by my heritage. Um, my dad was from Italy and so I, I only knew them, uh, my grandparents especially, when I was uh, two years old. So I'd like to go back and, and learn more about uh, my family. Well, first of all, it would be a date. And it would be Paul Newman. I think he is just like the ideal man. He, um, he was such a family man and he was this incredible philanthropist and he was really hot. Everyone that knows me knows that I would pick Sean Corey Carter, also known as Jay-Z. I think he's one of the greatest poets of our generation. Um, everything he does is just so effortlessly cool. Um, but he, you know, he's not all about himself. He's into giving back and um, he's socially conscious. I'd probably own a farm somewhere far away. Uh, I don't know, maybe raise some goats <laughs> and um, maybe have a bed and breakfast. I would be either a culinary chef for a major uh, restaurant in one of the biggest cities in the world, or I would love to be a veterinarian because I love taking care of animals. I would love to sing opera. If I had the voice, I would love to just sing my heart out. I think the music is so soothing and so, so, so beautiful and um, it just takes you away. My favorite place is probably still Rome. You turn a corner and you know you see the Trevor, Trevi Fountain or the Spanish Steps and um, the Italian people are just so friendly and you know loving. The food there is great. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful there. Paris is probably my most favorite. My house is decked out in anything that you can think of French um, mirrored, um, the, the sexy curtains. Um, I just love Paris. The Indian Himalayans. I spent um, quite a bit of time in Leh in the province of Ladakh. Um, it is just serene and beautiful and a place where you find peace. Cameras pointed at me as I'm speaking like this right here, right now, it kind of freaks me out. Um, I'm kind of a shy, reserved person and this right here is awkward to me. I'm deathly afraid of sharks. There's just something about being out in the middle of the ocean all by yourself where a, a gigantic creature could come up behind you that um, scares me to death. Automatic car washes. I hate going through automatic car washes. It's something about those spinning cloth things hitting up against the window and the, it's just too much. This is horrible in the city of Chicago. You have to be able to tolerate a Packers fan. I went to grad school in Wisconsin. I, it's, 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 it's hard living in Chicago being a Packers fan, but if that is a non-starter for you, then uh, that's, that doesn't work. <laughs> showing off. Uh, showing off is a huge deal breaker. Um, not being inflexible. You just sort of have to go with the flow and having no expectations. Um, I'm a little bit grimy and kind of like my sweatpants and kind of want someone that loves their sweatpants and can kind of, doesn't have to be all showy all the time. Someone who isn't into the chivalry is alive. <laughs> part of life. I don't think chivalry is dead. I feel like I love a man who likes being a man and likes a girly girl, and that's me. A lack of respect for other people. Um, if he didn't open the door for a woman or he was rude to the waiter, just those kinds of things really are signs to me that he's not somebody that I'd like to be with. My yoga studio, Nature Yoga, um, in my old neighborhood. I love uh, the serenity and the peace and the incense and uh, a great teacher and walking out of the class and just taking a deep breath and saying I just did something 
wonderful for myself and I feel so peaceful and so centered. I have a really specific spot between the Shedd Aquarium and the Adler Planetarium where I take my books and my music and I just go and I sit and I watch the water and the boats. Um, I don't know what the spot's called, I don't know if it has a name, if there's kind of a beach by there. Now everyone's going to go to my spot and <laughs> it's going to be packed with people and so it won't be quiet, but it's really nice and calm and there's not too many bugs. And right around dusk, it's the perfect spot. My happy place is definitely Ravinia. It is so magical to just lay out on the grass and listen to music and bring a picnic and um, be with friends. And it's definitely why I put up with Chicago winters. Um, but I just, I can't get enough of it.